Hello, good evening and welcome to Moment with God. My name is Joyce Gannon. I hope you all have been well and you've been enjoying the sunshine. So from just speaking of from where we stopped last week and last week I was talking about how we need to um, transform and to be transformed by the renewing of our minds and I was talking how about how we can renew our minds i spoke about the butterfly and the and the the lava the cocoon and the butterfly and then um, i'm not sure if you went to search to see how the the lava has changed into a butterfly uh, so today i want to continue in that transformation series because i think it is really important for us to grasp the fact that we are spirit beings that we the spirit beings that lives in the human body and i was talking about how this body is just a casing for the you know for us to to carry and the presence of god in our lives to carry the presence of the holy spirit so we are created in the image and the likeness of god jesus and the holy spirit and therefore we should emulate and um, our father in heaven our bro big brother jesus and the holy spirit who is the saint one and um, to be here on earth with us so i i said in order for us to know um, who we are to, to behave like who we are created in the image and likeness of well we needed to know the characteristics of god of jesus and of the holy spirit so i'm going to be com continuing and i took my scripture last week from um from romans 12 but today i want to back off to romans 8 which is a really popular um chapter in in the book of romans in the bible and this is where um paul was um talking to us as believers really taking us uh, step by step he's taking us as as uh, an apostle and he's taught us really uh, what it's like to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh and he spoke about how those who are led by the spirit these are the sons of god and if we are led by the spirit we are being true to our image we are being true to the to to god's likeness in our lives and so today i want to talk about how we can take this transformation and apply it to every areas of our lives so when we say to be um, transformed by the renewing of our minds and it can seem so so big today i want to break it down so you know because this this should be transformation is step by step right we can't just transform every aspect of our lives we may find that very overwhelming but today i want you to take time sit with me and take a look at your life take a holistic um, approach you know look at every area of your life your area in your relationship in your spiritual work in your um work life and in your in your health in your finances and you know and just in your church, your community, I want you to look at every aspect of your life and look at the areas where you are struggling right now. Are you struggling to believe God for your health? Are you struggling to believe God for your finances? Are you struggling to believe God for your relationship? Are you struggling to believe God for your children? Are you struggling to believe to believe God? You know, even with your belief, your belief system, how you think and how you are now, are you believing God for those that you want to excel more in, in any area of your life? If that is you, if that is the case, why don't you take that one aspect today and start applying this and uh, uh, this um, transformation? So renew your mind about what you believed in that area of your life. If it's in the area of health, if you believe that, or oh, you're sick in your body and God is not going to heal you why don't you start to change that belief today and change your confession and start declaring what the word of god says about healings there's so many scriptures in the bible by his stripes you are healed you know and he sent for his word and his word healed you and jesus showed us so many examples in the in the scripture where he healed and we see so many examples where the disciples healed and so we know that healing is for today that healing is for us so if you just want to take that aspect of your life where you are struggling and you have challenges in your 
in your health and, and why don't you start confessing the scripture and believing what the bible says about healing and start take that word and use that that faith you know in your inner man in your spirit man and and first of all see yourself healed so that you can start to to manifest the healing in your life and sometimes these things can be so easy to for for people to say you think oh it's easy for you to say that you are not the one who has been working in these areas you know but what, one thing i can say to you is the scripture is truth and that the words of god work and so if you apply if you read study the words of god and you apply faith and you truly believe that um you know what the scripture says is true and it'll be true for you and so it will be because as a man thinketh in his heart so he is so if you think that your body, your your body is the temple of God, and is and is 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 expressing the divine health of God, the divine health, vitality, well being. You know, it will have no choice but to listen to the words that you speak to the declare to it. If it hasn't worked for you, it hasn't worked for you yet. But if you truly believe from your spirit and you believe the word of God, it will come to manifest. And if it doesn't manifest in your life, so you have to start thinking why hasn't this worked for me because the word of god is life is truth it works and if it's not working right now you need to find out in, in let's be honest with because the the, the, the it said let ed, every man be a liar and god be truth and the word of god is so true so if the word is not is not achieving the things that he he says he will in your life i am saying the word of god is true so maybe we need to just come to God and be honest about the situation and be honest about our belief and be honest about the fear because sometimes fear has us bound in the places that we are in and then we don't, we, 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 we are not honest because if we are honest, if we take a deep, really deep look at ourselves, we will find out that we have to change something in our lives. So, but if we want the word of God to work for us, God knows our hearts anyway. We are not fooling anybody. We are only fooling ourselves. So if the word of God is not working for you, you need to find out what is in your thinking and in your understanding you need to change. What is gone wrong in the, between the head and the heart in my in this, this particular area of your life and look at it and truly give that area to God. It may be difficult in the beginning, but the more you practice it, because when you give attention to, you got to keep what you defend, you got to keep. If you're saying, you know, some, some people have been ill for such a long time and it's a horrible place to be. Listen, my heart is for you. If you've been sick in your body for such a long time and you, you feel now that is your identity, anybody who knows you to say, hello, Lord, your name is such and such a thing and you suffer from such and such a thing sometimes it's become your identity and you don't even know how to 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 um take that off and put on the identity that you have in christ i know how difficult that can be but sometimes that has become you know some people's identity that they don't know what to do without it and because of that they are not really stripping everything back to be naked before god and be honest say i'm struggling in this area i find it difficult to believe that i can get out of this and some people you know because that sickness has been their identity they don't want to let it go so but if you truly desire to, to get healed to be set free whatever that area is it could be the area of addiction it could just be sickness it could just be you know disease that you know it's not not your fault that you have it why do you want to keep it but that is not your identity that is not who you are so be honest before god because what you defend you get to keep if you defend the reason you are not healed if you defend the reason you are sick if you defend how why that sickness has been part of your life for as long as you get to keep it but if you come to the place where you've been fed up, you said you've had enough, this is not who I am. And you go to God and you say, God, this is not, this is not who you've created me to be. I know that my body should be, should be, um, you know, um, 
expressing divine health, vitality, and well-being and wholeness in you. And I want to know what I need to do to change it. I want to know how I can change my thinking to see myself as the healed person, to see myself as the, as this body, my body full of vitality that I should be. I want to see how I can change my mind to accept this. So once you get to that place, I'm telling you the word of God will, will work for you. It would work, it has nothing because the word is true and is quick, is active. Whatever you send it out to achieve, it will achieve it because that's what God says. So in this transformation series, I'm going to be taking every um, area I just want to encourage us to take every aspect of our lives that we know we are struggling with. Let's lay it down on the table and let's test the word of God over it. Let's test the word of God and let's see, let's test it and it will test it. It will be true because it is true. So I said I was going to read for Roma, but this is really just bubbling up in my spirit because I don't see why the devil should have the, you know, children of the most high God bound. You know, the, he's had them bound in their thinking, it has them bound in their sickness, it has them bound and they, and, and I mean the, you are the daughter of the Most High God you are the son of the Most High God so it's really, I'm really, I have a holy anger right now, that when we, and when I look at fear everywhere this anger, this holy indignation that rises up on the inside of me, to say we are the children of the Most High God and we are the one right now who should be calling the shot, not the enemy telling us to be fearful because you you know, you, 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 if you're going to be, you're going to die of this sickness, it's an incurable disease, or you, you, you're going to die in lack, or there's no, your, there's no job there for you to do, um, tomorrow because there's, the economy is, is, is in crisis. No, 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 no. I think we should rise up right now, rise up and find out who you are. You are made in the image and the likeness of God, and you are the spirit being. So you need to start bringing heaven's economy. You need to start bringing heaven's reality into your situation. So I'm just laying the foundation today because for the rest of the week, I'm going to be talking about this transformation in every area of our lives. But let's hear what the scripture says about, you know, who we are now as believers. Romans chapter 8 is such a long um, scripture to read through. Um, I think, let me just take it from verse 10. It says, and if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of he, of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in in you. The spirit of God who dwells in you will quicken your motor body. It will give life to your motor body. That is the promise. That is the word of God. That's what the word of God will do for you. That's what the power of God will do for you. As a spirit being, we need to start learning to live from that place of the spirit. He you know those who are led, as many that are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. To then why don't you let the spirit lead you in, 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 in the area of your health? Why don't you let the spirit, why don't you be honest, strip everything back, just you in that, whether it's early morning or late at night, when your mind is calm, really deep down, just take a moment and be quiet and say, and ask God, what is it that I need to see right now that I'm not seeing in the area of my health? What is going on right now that I cannot yet see in the area of my that I need to see? What must I do? What how must I believe? Which scripture should I can I must I read that I can get hold of to bring transformation to my life? And if you truly do that, the our Lord, our Father who is in heaven, He said He knows how to give good gifts to His children and he's faithful. He's faithful. And what is done for other people, we hear so many 
testimonies of healing he will do for you. Don't let the Satan take you for a ride. Don't let him think he's got an upper hand over you because he really, really hasn't. Because he who the Son has set free is free indeed. And Christ went to the cross and he purchased your healing. 39 stripes he took on his back for you, for your healing. And every the medical um, uh, 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 professionals, they say that there are 39 categories of, of sicknesses and and so he took a large for every single category. So no matter what category your sickness falls under, Jesus took this, that, that, that um, uh, sickness upon his body so you can walk in wholeness. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for your abundance, availability, provision that you've made for our healing. I thank you that you took those lashes on your body, on your back, so that we can be healed. So I pray for every single person who is hearing my voice right now, who is sick in their body, I speak to that sickness, say, you go, you take your hand off the child of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak healing to your body. I speak transformation. I speak divine health and wholeness and well-being to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So receive it and be healed in Jesus' name. Amen.